are talking about types of insulator used in transmission and distribution line. So first we have to understand what is an insulator. An electric insulator is a material whose internal electric charges do not flow freely. Very little amount of electric current will flow through it under the influence of an electric field. Some materials such as glass, paper, wood, rubber which have very high resistivity are very good electric insulator. In high voltage line mainly insulator are made of porcelain, glass and polymer. The successful operation of an overhead line depends to a considerable extent upon the proper selection of insulation. There are several types of insulators but the most commonly used are first pin type insulator, second disc type insulator, third suspension type insulator, fourth strain type insulator and fifth shackle type insulator. First pin type insulator. As the name suggests, the pin type insulator is secured to the cross arm on the pole. There is a groove on the top of the insulator to hold the conductor. The conductor passes through groove and is bounded by the same material as the conductor. The pin type insulator are used for transmission and distribution of electrical power and voltage up to 33 kV. Beyond operating voltage of 33 kV, the pin type insulator become too bulky and hence uneconomical. Now the second type of insulator that is Dix type insulator. This is the most widely used insulator for transmission and distribution of electrical power at voltage up to 11 kV. The insulator is made of porcelain or sometimes glass. Now the time to talk about the third type of insulator that is suspension type insulator. The cost of pin type insulator will increase if the voltage capacity increases. Therefore this insulator is not economical preferred beyond 33 kV. For higher voltages it is usually practiced to use suspension type insulator. A number of porcelain disc type insulator are connected in series to form the insulator. Each unit of disc is designed for low voltage, say 11 kV. The number of disc in series will vary with vary in working voltage. If the voltage is 33 kV, then 3 disc type is required in series. Some advantages for suspension type insulator. First, suspension type insulator are cheaper than pin type insulator for voltage beyond 33 kV. Second, if any one disc is damaged, the whole string does not become useless because the damaged disc can be replaced by the good one. Third, depending upon the working voltage, the desired number of discs can be connected in series. Now we talk about the fourth type of insulator that is strain type insulator. In high voltage line strain type insulator are used. For low voltage distribution line strain type consists of an assembly of suspension insulator. The discs of strain insulator are used in the vertical plane. Last not but the least shackle type insulator. In early days the shackle insulator used as strain insulator but in low voltage line they are also used such insulator either in horizontal position or in vertical position they can be directly fixed to the pole with a bolt or the cross arm the maximum withstand voltage for this type of insulator is 440 volt I hope you understand what insulator does.